Hello everybody, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be having a look at food in Sea of Thieves. How to cook it, how long it takes, how much it regens, how much you actually get from each bit of food in terms of health in Sea of Thieves. So, starting off on fruit, because that is the simplest one. We have bananas, we have coconuts, pomegranates, mangoes and pineapples. These are really straightforward as none of these actually give you health regeneration, but they do give you health. So bananas will give you 20% boost of health, coconut 30, pomegranate 40, mango 50, and pineapple will heal you 100% health, and you can use a pineapple twice. All the rest you can only use once per item. So if it wasn't already obvious, you cannot cook fruit. Fruit can't be cooked. It has no benefits other than to make you ill. It doesn't do anything else. It doesn't help in any way. So fruit, you just shove it in your box and it's just there for you to eat. So next we'll go on to meats. Now, this is what you actually want to be using in battles and stuff like that because it will actually give you regen. Now, regen is the little health bar. So if I actually try and hurt myself here, you'll be able to see my regen bar. So on the bottom left hand corner of my screen, you can see my health bar on the right and then a little circle with a skull in the middle. That is your regen bar. You start with that empty. So many of you might not even know that that's even a thing to have regen. But if we quickly cook up some food, so I'll just get out a chicken real quick and pop it on the fire. There we go. And once this is cooked, I'll be able to show you the regen. Now, while that is cooking, I can tell you how much regen and how long things take to cook. So fish takes 40 seconds to 80 seconds to cook perfectly. That's all fish, by the way, other than trophy fish. And then meat, so that's chicken, snake, pigs, and shark, they all take 60 seconds to 120 seconds. And then trophy fish take 90 seconds to 180 seconds. And then beasts, so kraken and the megalodon, they take 120 seconds to 240 seconds. The later version of those times so like the 80 seconds for the fish that's when it burns when it burns it doesn't make you sick it just gives you very little benefits when it's done okay so that's that done so i'll take that off the fire cool i just got a little completionist thing for that so if we eat this you'll be able to see it'll give me some health and it will give me a quarter regen that means it's cooked perfectly now anything meat and anything fish will give you a quarter regen and 50% health gain. And then anything trophy or beasts will give you 100% health gain and two quarters regen, so a half of your regen. However, two bites of a chicken will give me up to half. So now I'm on half regen. So now, if I bomb myself again, bomb myself again, if you wait 10 seconds, it will start regening my health. And that's what regen is. So if we just wait a second. Da, da, da. And as you can see, it's already regening my health back to what it was. So as you can see, I was about half health there. So each quarter of your bar is half of your health. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually cook up a trophy fish. Now... Trophy fish and anything beast, so the megalodon and the kraken, give exactly the same amount of health and exactly the same amount of regen. So there's no difference between the two, so you don't have to go hunting down krakens for the maximum regen. You can just use a fish, like a, a trophy fish, and it's really not hard to find them. The benefit to having regen is if you know you're going to be getting into fights in your session, or if you know you're going to be doing some events with skeletons and stuff like that, it's always good to max out your regen bar before you go in a voyage, or at least that's what I like to do. Every time I start a voyage, I will max out my regen bar, because that way, every time you take damage, whether you start drowning, or if you set on fire and you put yourself out, you don't have to worry about keeping yourself topped up with bananas, and pineapples, stuff like that. There's always a place for fruit. It's really good for quickly getting your health back if you really need it. But I really do think people should be carrying around actual meat foods like fish and stuff like that instead because you will end up with more health over time. The only downside, obviously, is you have to sit around waiting for it to cook. But if you do stop at shipwrecks out in the ocean, you do find a lot of cooked food in those chests. So you should be all right regardless. Okay, so this trophy is cooked. Right, so what we'll do is we'll get rid of our regen altogether now. Uh, that won't do it, I don't think. 
We need one more. There we go. Now, that should send our regen out completely. So we'll just wait for the regen to kick in. So now this trophy should give us half of our regen back, basically. After we've done this. So let this finish. I will quickly eat a banana just to top off my health. There we go. So now we have this fish and I think it's fully cooked. I didn't actually time it. I just eyeballed it. So we'll see. Yeah, I didn't quite finish it. Although it does say it's perfectly cooked. So I think it's just out. But as you can see, look, that's three quarters from doing that. Like literally just one fish. And obviously we can just finish that off easily with a snake. So that's the great thing about meat as well. Each one gets two uses. So you can just kind of stack up on it and keep it around at you all times. I would suggest always having some cooked meat in your barrels and then maybe fruit in the bottom one. And then you can just kind of, every time you go off your ship, you can just keep one with you just in case you need it because then you can just always be topped up on your regen. But yeah, it isn't an exact science. Sometimes you won't get your cooking perfect and then you will be like left with a little bit of smidge on your bar, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. As long as you've got like around about half of your regen bar, you should be fine because half of your regen bar is basically a full health bar. So every little bit of damage should be healed over time and then you can just refill it with more meat when you get back to your ship. Okay, so that is the video. Short and sweet tutorial. Not too complicated, really simple stuff, how to cook food in Sea of Thieves. If you did enjoy the video, please do drop a like below. And if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe to the channel too. And make sure to comment and if there's anything you want clearing up about this video or anything in the future you want me to cover. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a really nice day. See you later, guys.